Hi everyone, Trauman7 here showing to another vlog. Vlog number three. So today I feel new, I feel fresh. This has required a lot of takes. I'm trying to finish this because it is late at night. It is like almost 11 15 p.m. And I was going to upload this vlog tonight, but I lost track of time, I was running around. I slept in, I was doing laundry around like 9 in the morning till like 1.20 p.m. in the afternoon today, and then I went to Learning Community Art Studio. It was just a mess, and I slept in, and I apologize for that. So anyways, let's just get into this vlog, start new, start fresh. I'm going to give you better content, I promise. So today, I'm going to tell you where this necklace of mine came from. Some handmade craft that I made at an event. Where my lovely pin shirt came from. And where I got the buttons to put on it. So, first things first my Malachite necklace. I got this from Green Earth back in 2012 and I've had it ever since. Was I was in high school and I've been in love with this necklace. I used to wear it every day to school. Well, like every day because, you know, they don't allow jewelry in school. You gotta keep it, keep it at home, that sort of thing. So, anyways, after a few years of having it, I was wearing it to the Peony Festival, which is an event I go to during the springtime. And I found this charm, which is this Tree of Life pendant with the Peridot Stones. And I was there to try and decide all day where to get this necklace. And it was only 20 bucks, and I decided to buy it. I know what you're saying. 20 bucks, that's a lot of money for a necklace piece to attach to your necklace you already have. And you're right, you know, the truth is, I was never really good with money when I was a kid. I'm still pretty bad with it. Like today I ate out, like, again this week after having Taco Bell at the beginning of the week. I'm really bad with money. I'm still saving though. So, there's that. And, This beard I made. <laughs> this beard was made in a crafting workshop at the Royal Lachlan Galleon RMG Friday, which is an event where I go to see other people's art. There's live performances and catering, but I barely get from the catering because it's so expensive. And this this part of the event was free. There's also uh, independent film screens there. Very interesting. There's a lot of talented people out there that make films, self-independent films, I might add. And everybody else in the crafting, uh, crafting portion of it, where there's something crafty you can do that's attached to the event or the artist that's being featured that Friday for the first Friday of the month. And it was a um, Wander away yonder. And it's based on these lumberjacks with beards and everything. They have multicolored beards and they collect these things called geists. And it's a whole entire story. I haven't read. Like, there's a book. I think I'll buy the book eventually so I can tell you all about it. And then back to the button shirt. This shirt of mine has been with me for a long time, and I still have so much love for it. Hang on for a second, I'll be right back to see if the timer's kicked in and he's timed out. We'll get back to the buttons shirt in a minute. No, nope. we're still good. So, back to the item at hand to talk about. My buttons shirt. So... As you can see, 
It has a lot of Adventure Time buttons because I'm obsessed with Adventure Time. And then there's some Steven Universe. And I got these all the same year, like 2012, 2013. When I, I went to my first Fan Expo, and I literally love going to conventions there. My grandparents took me once or twice, and you know what? They, after that, they stopped taking me because I was like, I don't know about not getting a job and wanting to do things my way and just sell my art and go to conventions. Looking back at that now, and now that I have a job, I realize that was foolish and rude, and I apologize to my grandparents. I have in real life. So, these two are not from Ventions, these are from a store called Helm and Spirit. Got this because I love that movie Gremlins. And I own this movie, I've watched it several times. And this one remind me of a scene from the series Steven Universe when Paradox crashes to Earth in the episode Jailbreak. when the Crystal Gems managed to take over her ship and escape from prison on board her ship when after she invades invades planet Earth <laughs> so that's pretty much it there's nothing much to add this video. I'm again going to let you know near the end of this video that tomorrow I am going to make a video of me and Whitby at a craft store called Michael's and it's going to be fun. I'm going to ask permission to see if I can record in the store. If I can't, I will mention the items I am bought to donate to the Lincoln County Art Studio because when I have money in once in a while and I've been saving up for a bit. Or if I don't get anything at all, you know. Because eventually I'm going to have my own place. I'm right now living my dad's temporarily. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Click like, subscribe. If you can't subscribe, I'm trying to fix that. And verify the channel. I don't know. So, I'll be seeing you in the next video tomorrow, which is going to revolve around my art and my love of art. So, this has been Turtleman7 with vlog number 3. I'll see you tomorrow. Turtleman7, over and out. Bye.